using 10 into 10 grid for adding units tens to a number and for adding given two numbers. Hey Starry! See, I have brought the magnetic whiteboard again today. Do you remember it? We had used it the last time to study maths. Wasn't it a lot of fun? Come on, once again, we will learn some interesting ways to do addition. Starry, I have drawn a square of 100 on this whiteboard. It is also called a 10 into 10 grid. Now we shall use it for adding units to a number. Consider the example 32 plus 5. Do you know what we should do first? Yes, put the magnetic coin on the number 32. Then we have to move the coin 5 units downwards from 32. We have reached the number 37. So Starry, we get the answer 32 plus 5 equals 37. Did you understand, Starry? Okay, then let's solve the next example. Find the sum 64 plus 7. Do you want to try this one, Starry? Okay, tell me on which number should I put the coin? Yes, 64. What should I do next? Okay, let's move 7 squares downwards from 64. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the answer of 64 plus 7 is 71. Isn't this easy and interesting story? Let's solve a few more examples then. Add 39 and 8. Okay, Starry, let's start from the number 39. Moving downward, 8 squares, we reach the number 47. So, 39 plus 8 equals 47. What is the sum of 71 and 4? Moving ahead, 4 squares from 71, we reach the number 75. So, 71 plus 4 equals 75. Do you know, Starry? We can also use 10 into 10 grid for adding 10s to a number. Look at this example. Add 17 plus 30. We first put the coin on the number 17. We have to add 30 means 3 tens. To add tens to a number, we shall move the coin sideways to the right. So, from 17, we move the coin to the right by 3 squares. That is 27, 37, 47. We have reached the number 47. So, 17 plus 30 
is equal to 47. Starry, remember this method is used only for complete tense. Do you know what are complete tense, Starry? Complete tense means a group of 10 numbers. One group of 10 means 110, that is 10. Two groups of 10 means 2 tens, that is 20. Three groups of 10 means 30 and so on. Let us solve the next example. Add 32 and 40. Will you solve this example story? Yes, we put the coin on the number 32. We have to add 40 to 32. 40 means 4 tens. So moving 4 squares towards the right, we reach the number 72. Thus, we get 32 plus 40 equals 72. Did you see Starry? We can add tens to a number just by observing the grid. Do you want to solve few more examples? Okay. Find the sum of 6 plus 20. Yes, Starry. Starting from 6, we move the coin by 2 squares towards the right. We reach the number 26. So, 6 plus 20 is equal to 26. Add the following. 73 plus 10. This is simple. Tell me the answer, Starry. Yes. Moving one square towards the right, we get the answer as 83. Let us solve the next example. Add 42 and 23 using the 10 into 10 grid. What are you thinking? If you think a little, you will be able to solve this one, Starry. Hey, you are getting smart. Yes, first we have to split the number 23 into 2 tens and 3 units. Now, let us keep the coin on the number 42. Then, to add 2 tens, we shall move the coin by 2 squares towards the right. Which number do we reach? Yes, we reach the number 62. Now we move downwards by 3 units. We reach the number 65. So, Starry, 42 plus 23 equals 65. Let's solve a few more examples in a similar way. Find the sum 46 plus 52. Let's put the coin on the number 46. Now, where should we move the coin? Yes, 52 means 50 plus 2. That is... 5 tens plus 2 units. So, we move 5 squares towards the right. We reach the number 96. Next, we move 2 units downwards. So, finally, the coin reaches the number 98. 
Thus, we get the answer 46 plus 52 equals 98. I know, Starry, you are enjoying solving these sums. Let's solve a few more sums then. Add 8 plus 36. Can you split 36 first? Yes, 36 is equal to 30 plus 6. That is 3 tenths plus 6 units. Moving from the number 8, we move the coin 3 squares towards the right and then 6 units downwards. The coin is now on the number 44. So, 8 plus 36 equals 44. Here is the last example story. How much is 72 plus 17? Here, 17 is equal to 110 plus 7 units. Keeping the coin on the number 72, we move it one square towards the right. Which number do we reach? Yes, the number 82. Then, moving 7 units downwards, we reach the number 89. So, starry, 72 plus 17 is equal to 89. Hey, starry, wasn't it fun studying on this magnetic board?